Hello everyone, and welcome to a German multiplayer build-up. I noticed that on YouTube there is not a lot of professional competitive multiplayer game strategies for people to learn and watch, so I decided to do one myself. Uh, now, a lot of the build-up really depends on the house rules that each server uses that people tend to play on, so today I will be using the standard air controller Germany buildup. Although it can greatly differ depending on if you have an air controller miner that's in the axis. But anyways, we'll get started here. I'm gonna select the four year plan for the industry. Let's see, I like to add about nine mils in the very beginning. For the air force. Let's get that going. Awesome, and then we'll do the rest as sieves for early industry buildup. Let's see. Okay. For this, just like the industry, we can fix its stuff. Let's see. Recruits. Ooh, four slot. That yeah, wouldn't be a bad thing to start with. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start with infantry. Now to assign mills. Now personally, I'm a fan of paratroopers, so I use the one. Transportation. Let's see. Bring these up. Put the rest on this. Leaked armor. Okay. Now they get everyone situated. Angetreten. Gonna go ahead and lump them all up for now. Let's see. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Bereit zum Ausrücken. All right. Infantry. Let's go and put them on the Polish border. Bereit zum Ausrücken. We'll take our armor and motorize, separate them. Zuhören. Cav, put them in a different one. And, this is important, we are going to duplicate the infantry template. Go ahead and change the names and icons. And I do have mods allowing for more division icons, because why not? Let's see here, we're going to do light, so Jaeger. There we go. Jaeger. And then the second one will be Panzer Grenadiers, which is what we're going to use to hold the West once we take it. Panzer Grenadier. Alright, I'm going to start by training to the max. Three times. Connect them to the blue. Let's see, we can go ahead and lump our navy together. And due to us focusing on the Air Force in this buildup, we're gonna, for the most part, ignore the navy. We'll try to do something with it, but nothing's really guaranteed. All right, now let's make this trade better. Dutch East Indies, pop, and now we are finally ready to start. Alright. Let everything get organized. Might as well connect the air, actually, now that I think about it. There we go. No. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the noise. We've got fun roommates upstairs.
waiting for the Spanish Civil War to start up. Also, you're going to want to drop these guys as quickly as possible so you can send possibly three troops to Spain. Make sure to keep Mephos going. Angetreten. Angetreten. All right, now normally in multiplayer you would go to free trade, but due to there being no people to trade back evenly for resources, we're gonna stick to limited exports and instead hit for silent workhouse. Sorry about Discord being a little out of control. I'm gonna go ahead and save that second bonus research for when this finishes so you can rush construction too. Cat under control. Oh, these are arguably the funnest parts of this game. This is a waiting game for anything to happen. Second Sonic Workhouse. Boom. Get that out of the way. About done. Kind of need to start getting our resources back up. The war should be breaking out any moment. Seem being a little late though. Get some synthetics built around. Let's see here. There we go. All 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch this to Captain of Industry for the quick of civilians. We're gonna see how much we can send. Three, that's about what should be expected, although maybe now, maybe now will be a little higher. Yeah, see, there you go, four. Angetreten. So we're gonna select go four. And now we're gonna ask to send them along with air volunteers for the rule set. Then we're gonna go ahead and give them some guns, because why not? More XP. We'll go 6,000, and boom. There we go. Rust research, research, excuse me. Now we're gonna get some air support over there. Set this to be pumped up over time. There we go. <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally messed up and sent my armor. Alright. You know what? They'll get converted anyway, so we're just going to convert these back. Oh, and as you're wondering why. I did armor. It's just in the rule set. Watch the air XP, land XP starting to pick up. Once this clears, we're going to go ahead and get them up here. Just send them on a constant assault. Although in multiplayer with Soviets you have to be way more careful. See what we got here. Going ahead and get the radio. Go ahead and jump another one down the air doctrine. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and get one of the army. There we go. Take the Alright, and do the my or the server's rule sets. The Rhineland must be taken as the fourth focus, so we're gonna have to do that now. Go ahead and hit refining concerns. IGB or IG Farben. Since we're going to be producing fighter ones for a while, we're going to buff up their agility. So there we go. And normally, even if you don't have an air controller, you should have either Italy or Romania rushing fighter twos for you to license. Alright. 
So let's see here. So now you're going to have to rush for your cast too since you're the air controller. So it never hurts to get it early. Going to go ahead and jump our air to the cast designer. Get that air support. Ooh, that was close. So now we've hit the air, we can go ahead and start getting those amazing bonuses. You know, we'll go ahead and get paratroopers, and we will jump to... You know what, we'll go ahead and get the anti-tank researched for the Panzer Grenadiers. Porsche is always a go-to in my opinion for your armor. Because let me tell you, T-34s are not soft. Right, that's that's a lot coming at you. Go and get army, and the rule sets too, you can send air volunteers to Japan, so we'll go ahead and do that. Very cool, and we'll go ahead and send junkers over for that, help some breakthrough as well. So, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that ain't good. Let's see if we can redeem this. Go ahead and rush our cast two. Oh, whoops. Cast two. You know what? In the end, though, it wasn't that big of a deal. Especially since this won't be going further than 39. 
Nah, let's spend it on radar. Keep going down the air doctrine. Because uh, close air support is not as powerful with the fighters than the other ones, so you kind of need that early advantage. helpful since we'll be doing all three why they're building we'll go ahead and get 48 panzer grenadiers all right maybe not <laughs> there we go. rest in peace divisions all right let's start researching elastic defense Next opening, then the next opening we're going to get, yeah, you know, we'll hit this, and then the second opening we'll get our medium armor. There we go, should we get our Fauci Jaegers? changed. There we go. Petty troopers. I don't think I remember how to spell this. Oh, whoops. Let's pause it. Let's see. Paratroopers. Fall sheer. Okay. Here we go. Fall sheer Jaegers. Oh, boy. Sheer. Nothing after the end, huh? Boom, renamed. Oh, and we'll wait for Angelus to finish and then we'll jump the war economy. set up. Can't lose. Alright. So now we'll go ahead and jump through the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact so that, that thing's weak by the time we actually want to attack the Soviets. About time we end the Civ building. Yeah, you know, we're going to have to add more mills. There we go. Some more air superiority. Oh, 
Oh boy. I'm going to bump back up our oil. Angetreten. Befehle. Austrians to Jaegers. And as soon as mediums are done, we'll go ahead and convert. Oh, gosh. Keep wanting to not forget that. Wait for these to finish and then delete them. Oh, gosh. Okay. There we go. Now there is a great trick at the Corsair support. There is a great trick with the armor to make them super effective as the Germans. For your field marshal, go ahead and promote Heinz Guderian. Pause that. And then with Heinz Guderian, you can hit Aggressive Assaulter, which allows for greater blitz and shock attacks. Offensive Doctrine for your armor, and then Panzer Expert. So you already got pretty powerful tanks with just the field marshal. Achtung. Oops. And then for your general, <clears throat> it's always good to take Manstein for Fortress Buster. And Gorilla Fighter. So there you already have a very lethal leadership for your armor. Oh, I see. So we'll go ahead and get this for ground support. Could start getting guns. Boom. The panzers are done. So now, we're going to go ahead and hit... No, we're going to do this. And hit maintenance company. So now... Bump this up to 30. Put it up here. Now you're gonna change your Panzer divisions to 40 width. I know it's a lot, but it is worth it. you pronounce that you know I'm gonna bump this up to yeah you know 30 is fine so now we got four total no no we're probably gonna want like two more oh that reminds me we should probably go check on our Cass, building up more. S yeah, let's see. Perfect time. Oh, right on time. We'll go ahead and modify this junker a bit. Keep 
our resources good. And obviously, of course, if this is multiplayer, you're going to want to coordinate with your allies the most when it comes to resource trading. Go ahead and break these guys up. Angetreten. Ihre Befehle. Angetreten. Oh man, so much is going on. You know what? We're gonna. Oh, which one do we want? Foot logistics from our U boat operations or army logistics? Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of experimentation. You know what? No. I changed my mind. We're sticking to meta. Checks, and we have quite a lot of extra army XP, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and knock them up. And the rule sets we use 20 width is the minimum width. And 20, 40, if you're an aggressor, tends to be the one you stick with. Um, we can go ahead and delete all this extra stuff. Falschmiegers can go ahead and get built up here. 20 wisps as well. Yeah, let's do engineer. Boom. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and deal with the Navy, which is going to be a, just a pain within itself. So obviously, as I said earlier, your main focus is not the Navy. But, let's see here, you are going to want to utilize it a bit. So see, oh, and also multiplayer, it's a good idea to always trail it around the British Isles. Then we'll use this original fleet for just holding the Baltic Sea. And now this special fleet, ooh, which also has U-boats in it. Again, trail. This main fleet will be used as a strike force to deal with British and American shipping trying to protect their stuff. So we're gonna put that over here. Oh come on. Boom. Squeeze on um now multiplayer you're gonna want to put Hungary into your faction automatically so you'll partition with them and also give some industry. Now we're going to go ahead and hit Armored Innovations 2. Not let Methobills expire. 
and going back to our navy this one is flow with the one so fully one fully one again keep the tungsten controlled and worry as always about your oil there we go So now, for your U-boats, you're going to break them up into little groups of, like, two or three. You're going to put them on Never Retreat. And U-boat twos are best used in little pairs in only one sea tile. So you're going to want to repeat that for some places. Ooh, I accidentally did four, but that's not a huge deal. And we'll do one more. Whoops. There we go. Call our raid right here. And we're going to click play. And again, you'll use your strike fleet here to essentially attack when Britain sends screens in to stop the U-boats. Um, we're going to go ahead and focus on our industry more. Let's see here. Civil companies are good. Schmieger sounds, so that's nice. Alright. Oh, I forgot. We need to get this whole ordeal situated. Alright. So you're going to want to have Woundstead. And really, you can kind of select whatever you want for your Jaegers. I mean, the Jaegers' main role is basically just to hold the line while your armor does the pinch movements. It's not of the utmost importance. Right. Here we go, and now these guys will be operating in the west. We'll put them down here. Angetreten. Break those up. Um, again, we'll break these guys up into two. Use this guy. We'll go ahead and. Okay, where were we? Alright, we'll go ahead and do... Hmm, let's see here. Angetreten. What does that plan in? With that, right. and then their field marshal will be this fine man. You know what? This would be good to push him back off. For that, we're just gonna have him hold the Maginelle for now. Let's see, I have these guys designed. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no needs to be light cruisers. Wait for that to go, though. There we go. And now everything's pretty well made at the moment. Go ahead and make another 24 Jaegers. I'm gonna go ahead and make... Oh. Pause it real fast. We're going to make like three more Panzer Grenadiers, which will be sent to Africa to kind of help. Um, for now, we can go ahead and focus on coal liquidation. 
And also these Jaegers will be used to fill up the fifth slot that you'll be using in the east. And the Fulsham Jaegers will first be sent to Africa with Italy. Which I'll explain on that when we get there. Now we need to fix our manpower issues. Now go ahead and get Blitzkrieg. Matter of fact, once this end, we are going to want to research this before coal liquidation finishes so we can speed rush uh, advanced oil processing. Keep Mefo bills alive. Trade with Hungary for now. Alright, now we're going to do Eastern claims. companies that's right. good old Soviet AI All right. bring one of these guys down you know we'll go and do castle reading. I don't want to use it on that. So you're going to want to make sure you build up your airspace. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pause again. Well, not yet, I guess, but... Start researching the Panzer Convoy with, or Panzer IV, I guess, technically. Then, for hardness, we're going to want to research the Mechanized for what it does to Motorized. Okay, we got mostly everything done. Sure, Italy. Yeah, you're always welcome. I need friends. Okay. The Jaegers. So now we're going to go ahead and change these guys. Put that here, put him on ultra aggressive. Manstein here. It's going to be used to blitz Danzig. Also have him on really good assault. Put this guy with castle rig. Now they're gonna go right here. And then uh, the Fulshniggers. We'll get the guy made for them. Alright, and he's gonna go. Here. Which we're gonna go ahead and get. We're gonna get the. There we are. Get 
that going. Get this down there. Alright. Wait, oh, I didn't get this guy. Oopsies. And now, what I like to use full shiagers for, especially in Africa. So just make a little, uh. Alright! Little scary drop for the allies. Oh, also another thing too. So now you can take. Well, whoops. You can take some of the U boats right here. Let's give them donuts. Again, don't retreat. But convoy raid, since you're friends with Italy now. The West Indian Ocean. Rip Malaysia. Oh man, these roommates, I swear. Sorry about that. Oh, and now as you can see from that bonus, we're gonna get the oil really fast. Now you're gonna want basically refineries to be the next big thing you focus all your effort on. Almost to the end of this, so congrats for anyone who launches this. Hopefully, at least one person. All right, and there we go. We are one day before World War Two. Um, some notes to end on. For one, as you can see, you have. Basically six and a half thousand planes. Yeah, kind of a decent navy, a good amount of troops out, decent industry. Um, your Panzer Grenadier divisions, once you actually got more XP from your conquest, you want to modify them to where they look something like this with uh, support and AA in them since you want to keep as much armor in the east as possible so you want to have them to have some ability to pierce and fight off planes um, you would use these divisions you know you'd eventually make them 20 with cavalry again because of the rules for my server at least um, and then you would remove everything so they would just be what you make to suppress you would probably need about I don't know 10 altogether for Poland and Denmark, and then I'd make about 40 something for all of this. Um, oh, what other notes to give you before ending this? Guess we should bring it back. Bring back your Air Force, but you do have a pretty OP Air Force, or pretty much cast to. Um, but yeah, make sure you crush Poland quickly. You want to blitz. You want to attack the Netherlands first, then attack Belgium. Keep Luxembourg though, so your troops don't, AI doesn't start mixing their lines. Then you're going to use your armor, and you're going to place them. You're going to have to excuse me for the noise. Going to want to place some uh, here, here, and here, and drive all three into attacking this position at once. Then you just basically drink French tears, then push through occupy, make another 24 Panzer Grenadiers and put them in this little group and have them border your coast. Then you'll probably want to make another armored division or as many tanks as you can have. And then you use them again for pincher pocketing maneuvers in the Soviet East. 
and you know do what you can with your u-boat military but i hope you all enjoyed and best of luck using this build let me know if you guys would like to see anything else